substitute. So these are the laws of logical equivalence. Basically, if you have these laws, you can solve any logical equation dealing with uh, truth tables or without truth tables. And these are the 10 laws that you need to know with the two conditional statements here. The first law is the domination law. And it says if you have P or true, then the overall statement is true. Um, and where P is a proposition, actually all these variables here, P, Q, and R are all propositions. Um, the second one is P and false. And anytime you have that, the statement is false. Then you have the idempotent uh, law. And it says P or P just means P. And uh, P and P just means P as well. So that's the idempotent law. Next, you have the double negation law. And this says not, not P is logically equivalent to P. Next, we have the commutative law. And it states that P or Q can be switched. So it's logically equivalent to Q or P. And here uh, we have P and Q is logically equivalent to Q and P. So you can see that they can be switched here. Then you have the negation law. If you have P or not P, then your overall statement is logically true. That's something like saying uh, either we're going to go outside or we're not going to go outside. So that's always a true statement. And then um, here you have P and not P, and that's always logically false. So now um, up here we have the associative law, and it states that P or Q or R is logically equivalent to P or Q or R. So you can just kind of move those around. And then the second one is P and Q and R is logically equivalent to P and Q and R. All right, next we have the distributive law. And this right here is a, a very useful one, I would say, for some of the more complicated uh, tautologies or logical equivalents. So, we have P or Q and R is logically equivalent to P or Q and P or R. And then we also have P and Q or R is logically equivalent to P and Q or P and R. All right, next we have De Morgan's Law, another very useful law uh, for the, I would say, more complicated proofs. We have uh, not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. And we have not P or Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. And then there's the absorption law. This states that P or P and Q is logically equivalent to P and P and P or Q are logically equivalent to P. And then last but not least is the identity law. And it states P and true is logically equivalent to P Okay, so that's definitely a true statement. <laughs> and then P or false is logically equivalent to P. And then we have our two statements here, our uh, biconditional bi statement and our uh, conditional statement. And this states that P um, implies Q. This is uh, really like saying equals as well here. So P equals Q. Um, that's what that uh, biconditional statement really means. But this thing is logically equivalent to P implies Q and Q, impi uh, Q implies P. So yes, that's just saying that P equals Q. And same here. Uh, so we have the P biconditional statement uh, Q is logically equivalent to P biconditional statement not Q. All right, and then here we also have another conditional statement. Uh, P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. And we also have P implies Q is logically equivalent to not Q implies not P. All right, so with these 10 laws and these two uh, statements, we are able to 
do tautology proofs and logical equivalence proofs. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.